push me out. I just basically hop the fence all the time. If I kept going with it, if he keeps saying da da, which means like continue. If I kept going with it, it would be very relentless. Here he's complaining that I step behind myself too much when I try to parry off to the side. You just, you just angle your foot. See how I went behind my leg? You don't even have to do that. See how he just steps to the side and his leg kind of pulls over? He doesn't want me hopping. So there, I couldn't catch up with him. So that kick was to close off his escape because he was starting to get far enough away from me that I would lose my reach on him. So there I'm taking more space than I need, but then also not stepping forward enough. I'm like creating too much distance in two ways. I can feel that I'm tight because I can't catch him. I'm getting more and more tight as I'm trying to catch him. And I actually just need to get more and more loose and closer. So you stopped like 15 times already in the last minute. It's gonna keep I'm so frustrated. Why? Like I have this very bad habit of stopping all the time. And when I stop all the time, I have to start all the time. I'm starting the over from a position minutes. that's already frustrating. Minutes, and so it's like, when we first started sparring like 30 minutes ago, I was moving around a lot more. Now he's trying to show me how to fake. He's like, if you're far away, fake to come in. So I just do that like twitch and it gets his leg up. And then when his leg is coming down, that's when I kick him. Or just go to the other side. So not only was the previous two or three lessons about using every step as a launching pad or trampoline to the step after that, but he also wants an efficiency of steps. So I'm taking too many steps, which means I'm not using two out of like three to get me to the point I need. Just relax and let every one or two steps launch into something else. I'm kind of getting the fake going with that bounce. Still hopping a little bit as I'm trying to change sides. He just wants me to step to that right kick. He does not want me to like do a big galloping switch step. Maybe four or five lessons ago, he taught me to do the switch one, but he taught me to do the switch one in order to make my switch faster. And now he's carving it back out because it's visible. So be fast, but don't use the gallop. <laughs> I'm pogo sticking. <laughs> like that. He's like, this is enough. Just this kind of lance forward is enough. You don't have to do this like popping in one spot. I'm like, I don't kick like that. So it's hard to hide it with something that I don't do. But just integrate it. Like start stepping like that. That's, he's telling that rhythm. That like, look at how wide his stance gets when he does it too. He's able to, he's able to retract off of it just as easily. So it could be a fake or real really easily because he's got so much flex in his legs. I'm frustrated because I don't understand why my knee is so wide. If I have to go around his knee, sure, make it wide, but I don't have to go around his knee all the time. I can actually come over it, which is more straight and more painful because then it has to come down also. See how I'm doing a switch step to kick right? I don't have to do that. Just step. I keep coming in and hitting his closed side because I don't use my initial march in as a fake. Like I can switch at any point and go to the other side, 
but I'm not watching him as I'm coming in. I'm only thinking about what I'm doing as I come in, and so I miss that opportunity. He wants me to fake. He's blocking over and over and over again to show me how he can see what I'm doing, so I have to fake to get that knee to land or that kick to land. So there I got him in the corner and I didn't keep him in there. So I'm doing significantly better than I was doing, but I'm just as frustrated. <laughs> Despite the improvement. Because I'm still just chasing him down all the time instead of capitalizing on when I get him somewhere. That's how you play that game. Don't just keep going back and forth. There's got to be a lift end game in there somewhere. God, even his like, even his big cat playing with a small cat, like toned down version of himself is so smooth and frustrating. He's trying to get me to feel which way to throw him here. Look at how when his knee comes up, he wants me to throw it as his knee is up. I'm trying to ask him, what do you do with your arms after you knee? And he thinks I'm asking him what I should do. But I'm asking what he does, like, naturally. <laughs> He's like, I throw your fucking hand off, is what I do. The thing, the thing that I'm struggling with is that I don't create a frame with my arms. He can knee and then do another throw because he's got his arms framed in the hand-on-hand -hand position. I just put my hands on his hands because I'm supposed to before I throw it over to the side. I don't feel that as a frame in and of itself. Keep him in the corner. Keep him in the corner. 